Hello and welcome. Today I want to modify Manny and Quinn inside Blender. We begin with a project with our mannequins already loaded in. I'm now going to export the mannequins. In this case I've already done it, I will just replace the files. I uncheck level of detail as we will be only using LOD 0 today. I now export Manny as well. And that's it. Now let's jump over to Blender. I start with an empty scene. First I set the units, the scene units in scene properties and I set that to 0.01 .01, and then I delete everything in the scene. I'm now going to import Quinn. So I'll go to File, Import, FBX. I select my Quinn. I already have a preset, but here are the values for my preset. Forward is Y forward, C up, animation is unchecked. And then for primary bone axis is X and secondary is Z. Now, as long as we don't touch any of the rotations or positions of our bones, we should be fine in Blender. Next, I want to separate the root from the null. So I select the root, I Alt-P and separate. Now with root selected and the mesh, I want to go to object and just apply all transforms. Next, I'm going to select the armature and go into pose mode. I go over to viewport display and I go and select in front so I can see the bones. I now select the head bone and I'm going to scale that up. I then select my thigh bones. It may be a little bit difficult because of the bone ro rolls inside Blender. And I've just scaled those on the X and the Y axis. Next, I go to the pect bones and make the chest smaller. And I go back to object mode. I select everything and scale down. I now select my mesh. And I apply the armature modifier. And now select the armature, go to pose mode, A to select everything, and apply as rest pose. Next I select everything again and apply all transforms. I apply an armature modifier, I name it root, and I select the object root. Now, if we select the armature, go to pose mode, we can check to make sure it works. And it does. Next, I select the mesh. I find shading and smooth edges. I select everything, export FBX, I already have a preset, here are the values, Y forward, which is the opposite to minus Y in the viewport, Z up, I check all the boxes underneath that, I, in geometry I choose smoothing for face, and then more importantly, primary bone axis is X and secondary is Z, all of the boxes are unchecked there. With that exported, I'm now gone back over to Unreal Engine. I'm going to create a folder, call this Mini. And now I'm going to duplicate Manny and Quinn, and I'm going to call them Mini Manny. And move that into my Mini folder, and then duplicate Quinn. And drag that into the Mini folder. Right, I'm going to right click on Quinn 
I'm going to select my newly created FBX file and import it. With that imported, we can open Quint up. As we can see, there is some problems with the shading. There is a line down the forehead. Let's jump back over to Blender. Select your mesh. Select all the vertices. Merge by distance. And apply smooth edges to the shading. Go back to object mode and select everything and export again with the same settings. Back in Unreal Engine, we're going to re-import with new file. And there we go. We now have a smooth shaded character. Let's try an animation. It works fine. The IK bones are broken. I already have a video on how to fix this on my channel. Next, I'm going to scroll down to LOD settings and I want to set the number of LODs to one because we're only working with LOD zero today. Now I want to change the material slightly. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the material instances. There are two. I've already done it here. I'm going to change the tint color to a slightly pink color for a feminine character. Here I'm applying these new material instances and that's it. We now have a mini Quinn character. Okay, I'm going to save this blend file now in case I need to work on it later. Let's now do Manny. Select everything in the scene, delete it, go to scene units and set them to 0 0.01. Import our Manny FBX with these settings. Make sure primary bone is x-axis and secondary z-axis. Make sure minus y is forward. We're now going to unparent our armature and mesh from the null. I'm now scaling down everything and applying all transforms. I select the armature, I go to pose mode and then over to viewport display and put my bones in front so I can see them. I'm now going to make the adjustments same as I did for Quinn. I'm scaling here. Remember, do not rotate or move the bones in any way or it will fail. This one's a little trickier. It's going to take me some time. I think in this instance, I'll just adjust the head size. Now I'm going to select the pec bones and make the chest slightly smaller. Next, I'm going to select the thigh bones. I have made an error here that I didn't pick up during recording and you can see I've only changed the size of one thigh. 
Next, I'm scaling down the spine. Probably gone a little bit too far. And that's about where I want to be. Again, I have made an error with the left thigh. Right, back in object mode, I'm going to apply our armature. And then select the armature, go to pose mode, select all the bones and apply pose as rest pose. Back in object mode, I'm going to select our mesh, go to mesh, merge by distance. And then come down to shade in and smooth edges. Go back to object mode, shade smooth. Now I'm applying an armature modifier, call it root and select object root. I select the armature and the mesh, go to export, FBX, and I'm going to export with the exact same settings. Again, make sure armature X axis and Z axis are primary and secondary bones. That's it. Now let's go back over to Unreal. Right click on Minimani and re-import with new file. And here is our FBX we just created. Here I do make a mistake. Um, I choose the wrong materials. It should be head then torso. I've chosen torso then head by mistake. I'm going to duplicate the material instances again for Mane. Call them Mini Mane 2 and Mini Mane 1. I'm now going to select those and apply them to the character. As we can see, the materials are messed up. That's because during the import, I chose the wrong materials. I'm now going to tint our new Mini Mane, a slight blue color for masculine. I'm now going to test an idle. That seemed to work fine. I now need to go to the LOD settings and set the number of LODs to one because I'm working with LOD zero again. I can now drag Mini Manny into the scene. I'm just going to set up a basic scene now. I'm going to apply a live link skeletal animation node to all my characters and apply an animation. That's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and take the basics that you've learned here and do something creative. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.